Hello, it's Nancy today. I'm getting my tripod to put you on. Now, I must say it's very inspiring to have you right there with me. You know, I'm not alone. I think that's probably the worst part of a rainy day is that you're at home alone, the house is a mess, and you really don't feel like doing anything. Let me show you all our beautiful leaves. So we've got some beautiful leaves out there. I'm trying to make my tripod work. First of all, now I have not created all messes that exist. Look at this mess. Who would think that knowing how big a mess I already had, that I wouldn't have to have gotten new mess? I was shocked when I looked out here. I mean, it's not like I have not seen leaves fall. I mean, I am 53 years old. I've seen a lot of leaves fall in my time, especially when you live beside beautiful leaves. Anyway, just got my tripod ready here so I can put you down. Anyway, I did not create this mess. And when I looked out here the other day and I saw all these leaves, I thought, that is so unfair. Here I am working so hard to get rid of all the messes in my life. I mean, it never really works because there's always a new mess somewhere because I've moved something like, see, there's my apron which was wet on the table, so I hung it over the chair, thinking it would dry. Well, that was before it decided to rain. Actually, that was before I forgot I had done it, which is very easy to do. So when I saw these leaves all over this floor the day after it rained, I was really, what is the word for that? Is it frustrated, thwarted, surprised? I was very surprised that my mess was suddenly bigger and I hadn't even done it. I mean, I'm used to children making messes that I have to go around and clean up. But this was not even the children. Oh well. So I have now two choices. I can ignore it like I ignore the rest of my mess or I can clean it up. But you know what? If you clean it up, you're just going to wait and get more beautiful mess on your porch. See, I think the best way to clean up leaves is to let the wind blow them away. Wait till they all fall and the wind will blow them away and then, then you don't have a mess anymore. They'll all be in a corner perhaps. See that grass over there? Isn't that pretty? It's a yellow grass. It's really taking over. It was just a tiny little clump. The people that lived here before us planted it there. And it was such a pretty little clump. But now, it's going to become one day. In 20 years from now, that grass will contain this whole area. So I can go over there and I can dig it all up, or just like any other mess, I can ignore it. I have to plant my strawberries. I have a whole lot of strawberries that are not planted yet. I need to get that chair in because it's going to ruin it. That's a good chair. I need to put that in the laundry. That goes underneath the table for the umbrella. Not that umbrella. Or maybe it is that umbrella. I've got a stem on it. That one goes in the center of the table, but the last time I left an umbrella up, the wind blew the whole thing over and the umbrella went way over there down on the valley and it broke the, the holder which is under there which now needs to go to the dump. Those buckets are full of water for making soap. Because you make soap with perfect rainwater, don't you? What should I call this video? The pretty leaves? Ah, uh, the mess grows in s when I didn't even help the mess grow. That's right. The mess grew unaided. That'll be the title if I can remember that that's what I said. Okay, goodbye.